little different from what you have heard so far. That is uh, science, medicine, and yoga. I'm going to speak a little bit about information technology, how it relates east and west. In the west, this is what is said, all things are poison and nothing is without poison. Only the dose makes a thing be poison. This is one of uh, the Greek who has said that in 15th century. But in East, we have a concept where it says, Nasti Mula Manavshadam. There is not a single root that is useless in science of medicine. Do we know these roots? Yes. Is usefulness proven? Yes. Is it evidence based to some extent? Now, in this conference, for the last four days, we have been discussing how East can meet West. And for that to happen, Plato has given one small suggestion. Two things alone cannot be satisfactorily united without a third. For that, there must be some bond between them, drawing them together. From uh, the world of information technology, I see that bond which is the standard data with the total health approach. In this age of information, I would consider data as gold and especially the clinical data as gold in healthcare. Because after spending anywhere between $100,000 or let's say one crore to few thousand crores, all that you do is present the data to the regulatory to get a drug approval. Now what is the problem with the data for this bond to make East meet West? One gentleman who has been working in uh, drug discovery, that is Dr. Joe Villafranca has said that we are awash in data but starving for knowledge. And we continue to mine this data many times trying to find a needle in a haystack. So why is knowledge a problem? I have put that in a few words here at the bottom. Traditional clinical trials that's in the modern science. The trial success rate is just 5% to 15%, which is on an average 10% across all therapeutic areas. So you have a vast potential for increasing this clinical trial success rate. As you can see in that green patch, almost 90%. So with this e-clinic approach, the goal is to increase this clinical trial success rate at least double it every three years. But there are obvious challenges and problems starting with the healthcare facilities. We have bulk of health records on paper, systems not integrated, there are standalone silos, there are multiple activities in hospital and they are all in different systems and they don't talk to each other. These are the practical problems. No analytics available to doctors where they can in one shot on a mobile application see the data related to a patient and find out his history and come to a decision what he needs to do next. So this is lacking. Alert mechanism does not exist, prone to medical error delay and inconvenience and all because the data is not integrated within the hospitals and also not integrated with the clinical research data. Few years back I made a similar presentation that's about six to seven years back and I told that without full integration we cannot meet the challenges of modern healthcare. Currently, we have 25 different systems, 
from 25 different companies and 25 different databases that need to be refreshed every day. And there are 15 different product support groups. I have a dog for my presentation too. And then we are coming to a new age where we should have one e-clinical system, one company with one integrated database and one product support group. Unless we have this, we are not going to make healthcare reach the last man on the street. Now, as I said, if you have this integrated approach, the biggest advantage is you have a closed loop feedback control. Anything that is open loop will not provide you the critical decision making ability. Unless you have a constant feedback, you don't have this ability. So in order to get the feedback, there are certain criteria. There are some trial expectations, endpoints, and so on. There are certain parameters, and that's why regulators such as the FDA has come out with critical path initiative about 10 years back to promote this adaptive trial. And unless you have a system to do it, you really cannot achieve much. Now this looks like a stealth bomber, but really it is an attack on waste. To reduce waste, we are using a lot of patients for clinical trials. And we know that 9 out of those 10 trials are going to be useless. They are not going to come to the market. But there is a way we can reduce this waste. And here I have tried to project that wasted resources and valuable resources by using adaptive seamless phase trials. Now in the end, I am going to present one slide which shows the, the full form of e-clinic or what you call Purna Swarupa. So here I am presenting two databases. One is HL7, which is the standard database for hospitals. And then we have CDISC standards, which is inside the funnel, which is used in clinical trials. Now many speakers, distinguished speakers before me spoke about yoga and many other forms of medicine therapy but unless this is quantified in a form of a data and a standard data where it can be compared with other sciences we really don't have much ground to contend so the bottom part is the e-clinic and uh, the bottom part is the clinical trial portion of integration and the top portion is the, the hospital data integration. Only when we combine these together, we have a full integration which is useful for the healthcare. With this, I am ending my presentation here. If you would like to have more information, please contact one of these two individuals. I saw this small carving on the rock in this campus, and I was uh, for a minute wondering what this is, because the symbol below OM closely matches the symbol of our company. I don't know how it happened. We started in 1996. We are 20 years in this business. We are running global clinical trials and our sites are all over the world. And we are looking forward to a day when this e-clinic becomes a reality wherein doctor could be in any part of the world and patient could be in any part of the world and yet be able to treat them. With these few words, I thank you all for your patient hearing.
thanks to Aswaza for giving me this opportunity to speak, especially Guruji, who is not just the founder and the visionary, but also my mentor and guide. Thank you all.